Okay, boys and girls, today I thought we'd have a go at making giraffes. And this is a paper plate giraffe. And we're going to be learning all about the Zubis turn. So what a great thing to do at home. And all you need is a paper plate. You need a, a white sheet of A4 paper, a pair of scissors, a pencil, a black felt tip, some PVA glue, and you need some paint brushes and you also need some yellow paint and also in this pot I've got some red, blue and yellow paint. I wonder what colour that's going to make. We're going to look at those in a moment. So the first thing we need to do is turn our plate over upside down and Mrs Pratt's going to put some yellow paint all over her paint. So. So you cover all of that plate until it's all yellow. And here's one that I've made earlier. So there's our paper plate all ready. The next thing I need to do is I've got a, my A4 sheet of paper and Mrs. Pratt needs to cover that. And I hear you saying, why am I covering paint on this piece of paper? Well, on my giraffe, he's got some ears. He's got a mouth and these little nubs or nodules, not really sure what you call them, but we need two of them. So when I've done that and it's all dry, it looks like this. So the next stage is we need to mix these three colours because what colour spots do you have? That's right, they have brown. So I'm going to mix these three colours together and let's see what colour it can actually make. This is the magic part. This is my favourite part, mixing paint together. Oh, it's, going, it's turning colours now. What do you think? What colour do you think it's turning now? Is it purple? Is it going to be black? Oh, no, it's not. It's going to be brown. How wonderful is that? I'm just going to pop that there. Now, we need a circle. It can be, you can have potato, an apple, cut them in half and dip them in, or just a sponge, anything that suits that you've got at home. We're going to just dip the top in and we're going to make some spots all around the paper plates. Now, they don't all have to be in a line. They can be anywhere you want them to be. And then we're going to let that dry. So when it's dried, it looks like that. And then when your yellow paper's dry, you're going to draw your two ears and then you're going to cut them out. Just like this. And this is where you might need mummy or daddy to help because we're going to do some cutting and some gluing. So if you need a little bit of help, you just shout and ask mummy and daddy to help. And that's going to be his ear. So I've cut out his ears. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of PVA glue just on the ends here. Just like that. And I'm going to stick it on the plate here. Just like that. And then I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. I'm just going to put some glue on the edge just, just like that. And stick it there. And there's his ears. Now, this is going to be his mouth. We're going to put his mouth on. Oh, I hear you say, he's got no eyes. Well, I found these lovely eyes with eyelashes because giraffes have got beautiful, long eyelashes. And look, there's his eyes. Oh, that's right. He's got a no nose and he hasn't got a mouth to fill one in. Now you can use a pencil first and draw two little circles like that and a little smiley face. But then we might want to just trace over those. There we go. Give him a gorgeous mouth. And then we've just got the, the little, we're going to call them nodules. Got a little bit of glue on the top. There we go, we're going to do that. Now I 
didn't have pom-poms that were big enough, so what I'm going to use is this brown paint that we've created, and I'm going to put a dog at the top, okay? And that is how you make a paper plate giraffe. So why don't you have a go and see if you can make one, and if you can, why don't you take a photograph and send it to us? We really would love to see your giraffes. So have a lovely day, and I'll see you soon. Take care, bye.